I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So go and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pan, pop, pop a phone. Turn around and drop a phone, a pan, drop, drop a phone. I went to Beach House in Miami. Wake up with no jammy. Good morning, guys. How y'all doing? How y'all living? I said, well, I'm stuck in traffic. I ain't got no dirt to spill. So, what can we chit chat about, y'all? Let's talk. Let's chit. I'm um, on here and I just got questions. I just got some questions this morning from me to you guys. I want to know this little couple on a uh, YouTube, this queen and Chris and I guess they've been married together, high school sweethearts, five years baby social media famous together he's always cheated on her, she sat back and just basically, you know, dealt with it, she reminds me of a very insecure young lady beautiful, she can sing beautiful young lady but she's humble but she's really insecure on the inside and I think he, he probably took on and targeted her because he knew he could manipulate her and you know have his way go out cheat sleep with other women that's in the songs he done and stated that she knew about everything he was doing the affairs him sleeping with other women and she chose to stay he said she had low self-esteem she needed to start to love herself first before she loved anybody else now he stated all this now this is my question my tiki's my supporters i need you guys to give me down hit me down in the comments now they haven't been broke up but to our knowledge maybe three months at the most last couple months maybe we've seen he out still going with everybody uh he's i can't say he's getting caught because he has publicly said that they're not together anymore and this is where I need this young couple to go ahead and file for a divorce because you know you're just separated people don't realize you're still married so he's out dating well not dating on stage because he has became a public figure and he's very famous he's a handsome young man too I can't take it away from him I was looking at him this morning when he had his little hair cut fresh and his little curls popping and they're very young 21 22 23 and uh, he's out having fun. They traveling from city to city. Things that they didn't do together. You know, all they did was sit at home and take uh, YouTube videos because they wanted to become famous, and they did. So this is sometimes this is what come with the fame. Anyway, my question to you guys. I'm just giving people who never heard of Chris and Queen a back, uh, you know, backstory on basically what's going on. My question. How early is it for you to date when you uh, exit a relationship? Now, us as men, seasoned women and men, people, humans, we would say if a person started dating someone right after they were separated, broke up, you was cheap. You had them all the time. But you never know in life when God may send someone in your life that just might be your season. Others may say, you need to wait. You need to find yourself. You need to get yourself together. Don't move on so fast. Now, some scenarios in my lifetime, I went from marriage to marriage to relationship to relationship. Hey, maybe I need to spend some time with myself to figure out what I want in life. Because this one guy I dated, he said, do you know what you want in life? And, of course, the answer would be when you're with that person, you. <laughs> you shit. What else can you tell a person that you dating or you seeing? Do you know what you want in life? Well, uh, I want the sun, the moon, the stars. But you guys have been going out for a while. Hell, I want you. That's the correct answer. She, you got to go with the flow. <laughs> so, which was the wrong answer at that time? Because that person was like, I don't think you know what you want in life. You know. But as you sit back and you think about it, you realize, I don't know what I want. Because when I get with this one, I don't want him no more. When I get with that one, I don't want him no more. 
and I'm leaving, 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 leaving. What are you running from? Well, what do you want in life? So, you know, it's, it's good to take time to try to figure out what do you want in life? And uh, my question is, how early is too soon to date after a breakup, a uh, serious relationship, serious marriage, situationship? How, what is the time frame on date? Three months, I think they're moving too fast. Now, with her, I seen this morning, I'm clicking, I'm looking, I'm releasing some videos I pre taped the day before. And it's a queen in New York and her and the boy Clarence on live together and they in the room together. And I'm like, whoa, what? Chris been on social media with every woman during the marriage, before the marriage, and after the marriage, but she's just been sitting at home heartbroken. It hasn't been three months for neither one of these people and they out with other people. So, my thing is with the people that's fooling with these people, why bring people into your life if you're not finished with them other people? That's another thing I don't, I, I won't do. If I'm seeing someone dating someone going out and I ask questions, it's not that I care. I mean, everybody has a past. My question to you is how long you, you know, just recently got out your relationship because if it's that fresh, I feel like a lot of times you guys may revisit getting back together and you don't want a person to be in a situation to where you end up being in the middle of a bunch of bullshit or nonsense. So, you know, a lot of times in relationship, if a person is asking you how long have you been separated or without that other person? I don't think they just being nosy and people yeah, you out in my business. No, or, I don't talk about my other situation. No, I think you owe it to that person that you're dating or hanging out with or whatever y'all may be doing. If they ask you that question to give them a, a honest answer because let them choose whether they want. Let them choose. That's, that's that key word. Let them choose if they want to be bothered with that situation in their life. A lot of people don't give people that choice. They hide things. They lie. And then before you know it, you're in a situation ship. And, you know, you don't know where to go from here. Now, Chris and Queen. I think Chris just out being a man, screwing. And, you know, he got this... He, he YouTube famous and he think he is a real celebrity. I sit and watch him. And I, I mean, not watch him, but watch him, but I'm, you know, his character. And this young man think he Chris Brown or um, Bow Wow. He really do. And he's just, you know, a little YouTube star. I ain't gonna say little because they ain't got millions of followers. They have two million on one channel. And she done hit a million on, a, on her own. But my thing is, y'all miss Tiki with her good talking ass. Like my point is, just like he was out messing with the girl and the girl, the girls all was contacting Queen and telling her that they were screwing her man and whoop, whoop, whoop. And she was just sitting back, letting it go, letting it go, letting it go. Well, I guess she done had enough. She done made it to New York to some little dude that could have been talking to her that she brought out publicly. And I'm like, are they just doing this to hurt each other or is it over? So my question, guys, y'all hit me down in the comments. Get down there and chit chat with me when I get a chance. I will respond to you guys. But um, how soon is too soon to move on in a relationship? Or should you heal yourself first before you go and put somebody else in your hurt and your pain? Because you got to realize whatever you're going through, you just gonna take it out on that person. And then you wanna get in there and you sometimes wanna, oh, I wanna help you get through what you're going through. And then you like, you know, we're the whole year with this person, you miserable. Cause that person was miserable. Now everybody miserable. Now you ready to move on. Now finally he done got invested in you and now you're not invested in him anymore. And it's just, it's like a cycle in life. <laughs> it's weird, you know, but hey, 
hey, being seasoned, I walk down a lot of roads in life. And I just want you guys to join in. Let me know. What do you guys think? How soon is too soon? Do you think some people should wait? Get they self together and figure out what they want. And if they don't, at least let time heal some wounds in your life. The brokenheartedness, the, the, the hurt, the cheating, the not trusting, the, the finances. Because basically it was said that he took all the money that they made from the YouTube channel. So I just want to make sure you guys, yeah, just get down in those comments and let me know what do you guys think about some situations in life and should you know you let time heal wounds and like I said before it cut off they were saying that this young man was taking all the money he wasn't sharing with her and uh, hit me down in the comments you guys hit, hit that like button hit that subscribe if you haven't subscribed follow me over there on IG Tiki44 guys and y'all have a lucky day thanks for sliding through guys bye